Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem in part a we're being asked to graph function f of x equals e to the x. Now you don't have to be super precise about this, you just have to remember the general shape. And when they're asking you to pay attention to how the graph crosses the y-axis, they're asking you to do, and this probably wouldn't be super noticeable if you're graphing by hand, so I don't really know why they're asking it, but the slope of the curve at that point is 1, right? So you can think of f prime of 0 equals 1. That's what they want you to notice. Not super clear based off of a hand-drawn graph, but it's okay. Next, in part b, what type of functions are f of x equals e to the x and g to the x equals x to the e? Well, f of x is an exponential function, right? Because the variable is in the... Um, is being raised to the power. And g of x is a power function because you have a variable raised to a constant. Uh, we're told to differentiate these, so you know the derivative of e to the x is itself, and the derivative of x to the e, we can do the typical power rule. So you take the exponent, you bring it down as a coefficient, then we have x, and the new exponent is the old exponent minus 1. Which of the two functions in part b grows more rapidly when x is large? This is something that you would have to look at um, in on your graphing calculator or some other thing. Pull it up on your computer using Desmos. And either way, either way, you'll notice that this grows more rapidly than this. So f prime of x grows more rapidly. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.